It's a battle for the hearts and minds of hundreds of farmers right across the Midlands. Two companies, Mainstream and Element, want to build dozens of turbines in Longford, Westmeath, Leash, Offaly and Kildare. It's also a lucrative business for the farmers and landowners involved, with payments of up to €18,000 per turbine per year available over a 25-year period. And last night in Mullingar, the community representatives came together for the first time to stake their claim to play a part in the process. Cormac Walsh is from the Irish Energy Cooperatives Organisation. Tonight is, Kieran, is simply about getting communities to come together in terms of encouraging them to negotiate with these two large entities. And what, what's in it for the communities? Well, we're hoping essentially that they actually take an ownership, a small equity share in these projects, which will mean that the communities themselves can actually take uh, earn income into the, into the future, year on year on year. The Irish Farmers Association have already played a key part in some of the negotiations with the energy companies. Paddy Donnelly is PRO of Westmeath IFA. The proposed uh, fee at the moment is uh, 18,000 uh, per turbine, and uh, that's uh, index linked. And uh, tonight is uh, about uh, getting the communities together to see if they can get something from each of the, the wind turbines and that it would uh, come back into the community. IFA has been advising a number of farmers on the, the pitfalls that there is, uh, if there is, and to get lots of advice before they sign any documentation. Uh, because, uh, you know, when you sign over a part of your land for 25 years, uh, an awful lot can happen in 25 years, and it's, it's crucial to get uh, the right advice. Arriving at last night's meeting in Mullingar, locals had mixed opinions on the merits of the controversial wind turbine projects before them. Holland are, are removing them now and putting them out to sea. The British Prime Minister has stated there will be none put on the English mainland. I know there are some in Scotland and some in Wales, but I think at the minute they're looking to get them moved out. Like, why are they putting them in in the middle of residential areas when we, ha we have a lot of... Co we're, probably, we're an island and there's so much room around the coast. That would be my biggest reservation. I think it's a great idea. Um, can't see a problem with it as long as it's sited correctly, you know. Um, as long as it's not, you know, too close to people's houses and is sited correctly, you know, and doesn't cause any environmental impact or problems like that. Great idea, you know, like Excellent. renewable energy is the way forward. And when the meeting got underway later, the discussion on the floor was heavily dominated by outright opposition to wind turbines, a debate that got very exercised as the night went on. So the bottom line is this is going to happen in Ireland whether we like it or not. We are going to have to reach a percentage carbon free by 2020. Is it true that a large scale project, namely like what is proposed for the Midlands, doesn't have to go to the local council, it can be actually applied to on board to Alta directly? Any project greater than 50 megawatts, which would be something north of 16, 17, of 17 straight turbines, is obliged to go directly to 